All right, back at 923 in the dark comedy. The duel is in theaters today and for one day only the two leads of that film Dylan Sprouse and Callum McCullough stopped by earlier to talk with Hazel about the movie. Yeah, it was fun. They were a lot of fun to talk to and happy to have the project finally out for audiences to see. They filmed it during the pandemic. And Callan, you may know from The Walking Dead, Dylan is one half of Zach and oh, Cody yeah. of The Sweet Life. And now they are taking on some gentlemen's rules in The Duel. Uh, Dylan, Callan, thanks for being here. Great to have you here to talk about The Duel. Thanks for having us. Thank you for uh, having us. And Dylan, you not only act in the film, you're an executive producer. Yes, this is my first time executive producing, Very actually. Very nice. Yeah. And, what, and what drew you to the film? Well, it's actually written by a mutual friend of ours, okay. one of the two writer-directors, Luke Roberts, um, great friend of mine. And he was the one who sent us the script after he finished reading it. And on top of it just being extremely well-written, I also love working with my friends. What can I say? I'm a simple guy. Tell me what happened. We started by texting. Who first? Me first. When did it start? Three months ago? He slept with my girlfriend, and I want him to know I'm the bigger man when I kill him. And Callan, your character and Dylan's, mm -hmm. your best like friends, this. and you find out that he, well, his character, not him. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Uh, slept with your girlfriend, and then it turns into a duel? I mean, you go, what happened to the bro code? Like The, the fact that I uh, want to duel him, uh, it just goes to show how deep our friendship was. That is the bro code, if anything, because mm -hmm. we were such long-term friends, best friends, of course, and, um, and then he tore it all apart with his reckless behavior. He doesn't want to fight you. He wants to duel you. Dude, what does that even mean? You don't just go around dueling people. Why the duel, though? Why a duel? Yeah, why a duel? Well, I think that's what the movie begs the question about. And that's why it's a fun watch, right? Which is that if it all means, if all of this means nothing and we can just move on, then does anything have meaning? Mm. Let's talk about a duel, though. Shooting that duel, there's a little bit of like romanticism for to sure. it. I mean, the costumes, the pageantry. What was that like shooting that for you guys? I, mean, I think that's, that's kind of what it's all about. There's a dignity to it and there's a pageantry to it. It's sort of dressing up the animal within, but still doing something about it when, when something so beautiful has fallen apart. Um, and the duel itself, I don't know about you, Dil, but I was, I don't want to spoil anything, but I was <laughs> kind of, uh, I started to feel my heart racing as they were doing the countdown, as though I was actually there. Really? Because you couldn't see the crew, it was very dark, and um, so I feel like I've actually, you know, gone through with it, almost. <laughs> what about you, Dylan? <laughs> what about you? No, that was definitely... That, w that was definitely a lovely aspect of it. We had also planned it out so that the, all of the really tense moments of the movie were reserved for the end, so uh, the end of our actual filming schedule. And so as time went on, we got to this point where it started to feel more real, yeah. kind of similar to what the characters were feeling. Oh, minus the duel in real life, did, you, did either of you ever find yourself in that kind of situation where you might want to fight your best friend over a girl? Immortally, no. <laughs> um, I would hope not. I don't, yeah, I don't think mortally. I've been in a few situations where, you know, I wanted to uh, rough up my brother, but that's just brother stuff. Yeah. yeah. And of, the, of the people that have done wrong by me, I've loved none of them enough to challenge them to a duel. Oh. I think that's a crucial element of it. I like to think that We're hoping <laughs> to get there yeah. one day, you know, and it'll be some post facto marketing for the movie when you, it becomes a cult hit. You maybe. guys get yeah. friends off camera? We are now. Yeah. 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 Oh, they trapped awesome. us in a house together for the entire run of the shoot because it was COVID as well. Um, oh, yeah, that's and right. so we had no choice but to be friends. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have gone south very quickly. Mm, yeah. yeah. What about executive producing? How was that for you? You said it was your first time. Did you enjoy it? Do you like being behind the scenes? Uh, you know, I do enjoy it. I think there's that almost cliche every actor hits to at some point where they're like, I want to do something behind the camera. I didn't <laughs> think of it really like that. Yeah. I knew I wanted to help make a movie with friends, very close friends of mine. And so I. I can honestly say it's been a much more involved process for me, right? Normally acting, mm -hmm. you're, you're in a very specific moment of filming it, but with executive producing, it's post-production, current production, and, you know, pre-production. So, uh, for me, it's been really good. So the premiere already happened, right, in Indiana? You Just filmed a couple most days ago now, yeah. And you filmed most of this there, right? We did almost all of it. There, there were some pickups uh, in Los Angeles. Okay. Some scenes that uh, needed to look more like California than Indiana okay. could give us. But Indiana is a remarkably versatile place to shoot. And we got so much out of that state. And you were like the Grand Marshal of the Indianapolis 500? Yeah, I did. Oh, my one. gosh. Drivers to your cars! What was that like? 
Terrifying, actually. <laughs> they, um, <laughs> the thing is, I don't. You can't give an actor one thing to say. It, they gave me you one obsess sentence. Over it. Every possible iteration of it, you're going. <laughs> I was like raising the pitch and inflection, and in I was sweating in the mirror, like, how am I going to say this? And uh, and right before I went on, they told me I was doing it to 400,000 people, and so I was nervous. But I think it went great, and it was a lot of fun. Awesome. Uh, and so I'd gladly do it again. Great. Well, thanks, guys, for stopping by to talk about the duel. Thanks. Thank very you. Much. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing it.